All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to play on one of the new special maps, Far Out. The current patch of Age of Empires 2, which hopefully this gets fixed soon, doesn't actually have any descriptions for these maps, so I'm just going off the recommendation of the Twitch chat. If you guys want to see Far Out, special maps are like normal random maps, except the positioning of the players is a little bit weird, and the map might have a different start. I have no idea what Far Out is like. It's my first time trying it. And today, I'm going to be playing as the brand spanking new Incas which is a sieve that received a lot of changes in African Kingdoms. If you're interested, Zero Empires does have a detailed video that showcases all the balance changes, which I'll have a link to that in the video description. So if you want to know what's new in African Kingdoms, we have these four new sieves, Berbers, Ethiopians, Malians, Portuguese. I have a sieve overview for each of those new sieves. That'll also be in the video description. And if you want to get in on this Twitch TV live stream, I'd love to have you here. You can find my schedule on my Twitch page by going there and scrolling underneath the video player. This is my first time playing Far Out, as well as the brand new Incas since African Kingdoms came out. I do believe that special maps always put you on the flank, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, the flank position, of course, being one of two positions you can spawn in. Flank being adjacent to an enemy, and then pocket being surrounded by your teammates. Um, so I probably have to play a little bit more aggressively this game. I'm not really sure what my start is supposed to be. Apparently I start with a lot of extra villagers. Uh, it looks like... Okay, so since it was Incas, I definitely didn't need to build that house to start. It's purely muscle memory. Uh, let's see. I have no idea what this map is like. Okay, that terrain over here is some new terrain that they added. That I believe your buildings take additional damage when you... From, like, enemy units if you build on that. So I'm going to try and avoid that. I'm guessing how far out works is that the other team is sort of mirrored, uh, and this means that, much like with Snake Pit, a lot of the combat will be funneled through my own base. So I look forward to dying for my country. Oh, that's some legit unit pathing over there. Whew. Now, of course, guys, I do read all of your comments, and I do take them all very seriously, even if I don't get a chance to respond to them individually. So if you're new to the channel, I would like to formally welcome you here. I'll be a little bit more active with the content that I post as soon as we get into mid-December. But right now it is do or die for school for me. It's the last super serious quarter before um, before things get a little bit easier. Because I gotta do all my like transfer applications and all that mumbo jumbo. Oh my mom. Sianna Sky says, what is your favorite AOE2 strategy? Uh, it varies. Um. I guess, like, uh, some sort of gunpowder trash-related push in the Imperial Age I like a lot. Really, any sort of Imperial Age combat gets me very, very interested. So, I like anything that involves the Imperial Age. All sorts of different build orders. I like to... Wow, how much lag was that? I... Oh my god, I'm actually gonna lose this bill, aren't I? Oh no, the Loom tech actually researched just in time. Not bad. Not bad. All calculated, of course. So yeah, I like to play various late game strategies. That doesn't mean I can't rush, I just generally like to play to my strengths. And in this game I'll probably play a little bit more aggressively. The Inga's got a lot of changes, which I'll briefly discuss in this video, and I might do that a little bit in more detail later on. Lady X, did you actually spawn a llama this time? I know. It's the, it's the dream. Uh, so they got their Couriers technology, which gave their uh, Eagle Warriors and some of their military units like extra speed. They got that replaced with a much more useful technology, which gives them one uh, one armor in the Castle Age and two armor in the Imperial Age. Very good. Uh, Gwintrob says, what's your major? I am currently a poli -sci major, and I would like to transfer schools next year, if at all possible. Mm, there's no way my build is optimal. Uh, what I would like to do is perhaps take take advantage of my uh, cheaper stone cost on my buildings, maybe build a bunch of towers, which I could do with uh, the new arrow slits technology, which they added at the university. It makes my towers fire a lot more arrows. I think that tech is very strong, so I'd like to utilize that, basically use everything that's at my disposal. I might go for something like an eagle scout rush. And even though this is the Incas, as we've seen before, they play a lot differently. Um, a lot differently. So I'll also be revisiting all the old civs, and I'll still do plenty of content on the newer ones as well. I'm sorry, uh, wait, so it's... God. You're gonna have to remind me one more time, but I will get it. No, you got my name wrong again? No, I, I will get it right, though. Is it, uh, Sienna Sky? Jeez. 
This aimbot says, which strategy do you have to play against or defend from? You mean in this specific game? I'm not exactly sure what my opponents will be going for. I don't know what strategies are best on this map. What I can say, though, is that... Um... I'll probably have to assume, since this is a more open map, that I will get rushed, so... And I'm on the flank, so it's possible that I do get attacked in the early game. So I might open up with Eagle Warriors or something like that. See where life takes me. Make a couple of those in the Castle Age. Raid a bit. I could go for Towers, too. That might be brutal. You Killer Panda says, Come to Minnesota, Rez. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I actually have been to Minnesota. That's where a lot of my relatives on my dad's side of the family live. A lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to build that mining comp. Oop. Wrong neighborhood for me. Jeez, that sucks. So, shouldn't have walked into that. So I'm going to go lose my scout there for free. But thankfully, I'll just be making Eagle Scouts. In African Kingdoms, they actually made it so you can build Eagle Scouts in the Feudal Age, rather than waiting till you get to the Castle Age to make Eagle Warriors. You still have to upgrade them, but yeah, this could be this could be interesting. Mm, since the Eagle Scout costs 50 gold, probably wants more than three villagers on gold. I'm still experimenting. The thing is, is like if I go for if I go for a strategy that I've never gone before, I'm experimenting. I am still trying my best to make it work. Uh, but right now, I am learning. Now, if I miss anyone's Twitch messages, by all means, feel free to. Post it again in a few minutes and I'll get back to you. It's just difficult for me to play, commentate, and read the chat at the same time. But I try. So the idea here is that I can replace my Lost Scout with um, another set of Eagle Scouts then try and get to the Castle Age not too long after that. I don't think I want to make too many Eagle Scouts, but I will make a reasonable amount of them. Poke at my opponents. See how that one goes. Not bad, not bad. I wonder uh, exactly how much this will hurt my economy. And in fact, I probably need... Do I, will I need more gold miners than four? Not exactly sure. I do probably want to close this area off. There are so many new strategies that I can't wait to explore with this. So I can make a few Eagle Scouts right about now. I think I'll grab Wheelbarrow because I'm not going straight for the Castle Age. I uh, should build the Blacksmith up there, maybe. Probably should have built it with a higher HP Villager. In case there's an enemy Scout here. Uh, these things create incredibly slowly, by the way. I think they take about a minute to make, which makes this strategy actually a lot weaker than you might think it would be. Eagle Scouts have the advantage of being a fast unit that you can get some really... Ooh, see, this is what I was worried about, dude. I'm a little nervous about this. Hopefully he doesn't notice. <laughs> oh, man, hopefully he doesn't notice. Let me just go swap the position of these villagers real fast. Also looks like he's pushing my zebra in for me. What a nice guy. No! No! Oh, he's on stand ground. Shit, he noticed. I would like to think that Cool Man was trying to do that the entire time, but there's just that much input lag. So the Eagle Scout is a fast unit that you can do a lot of like early game raiding with, and unlike the Scout, it's uh, significantly harder to counter, because it doesn't have like a huge hard counter like the, uh, the Spearman just deals with the scout cavalry very, very effectively. The downside here, though, is that this unit takes forever to create in the Feudal Age, uh, which sort of offsets the advantage that you get, where essentially, if you make a bunch of these in the Feudal Age and then you get to the Castle Age, it's like making scouts that upgrade into knights in a, in a, in a weird sort of way. So that's not the benefit that you get. Uh, these things do get fairly hard countered, though, by something like men-at-arms, so... But men at arms, if you make them, since they cost so much food and gold, it will slow down your advancement time substantially. Looks like I am in, as he has left a small gap at the edge, and when you go for this strategy, you really want to make sure that you are uh, getting that plus one defense upgrade pretty early. I don't need to necessarily kill any villagers here, but what I do need to do is make sure that I get his villagers idle and not gathering resources. So that's the idea. Sienna Sky says, what's your opinion on custom game modes like CBA and RTD? Well, I think that they're all really fun. I don't do too much content relating to those because uh, a lot of them aren't as fun to watch. And 
explain, I guess, to people, but uh, I think that they're all fun. Um, okay, so I, I am in there doing a lot of damage. After I kill a couple of his vills, I might go move on to go harass one of his pockets, so... Yeah. We shall see. Spread the love around. No point in weakening everybody. Oh, sorry, there's no point in just weakening uh, just Emra. As I feel like I've done enough damage to him that I could very easily just move on to his pocket. And if I weaken everybody, then there'll be no threats left in the game. And easy, sneezy, lemon peasy, I guess. The next stage. See, the nice thing here is that I'm able to relatively easily transition into the castle age off a strategy like this. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't wall this all the way. I'm not sure. Or is there still a gap here? There's not. Okay, so I can probably open up this house. What I want to do is make a couple more of these, and then weaken everybody. Spread a little of that love around. Probably need to mine some stone at some point as well. But we're off to a reasonable good start here. Oh yeah, maybe I can't exit this way, actually. Is he completely walled up now? Maybe I have to go north. Concern is, is that... I need to weaken Mito Tracker with Civisy. Seems like he's having a good start. Better score than most of my team, so I'll have to make that a priority, I think. Miss Aimbot says, I meant to ask, which strategy do you hate to play against the most? Oh, okay, thank you for clarifying. Uh... Well, if we're talking, like... In general, I, I don't like it when several people on my opponent's team will all send their scout to my base. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. Um, tower rushes can be annoying, but I can generally handle that. So it's usually, like, any form of laming that really gets me when people try and, like, steal my boar or they send, like, four scouts on me. But there's no strategies that I particularly hate playing against. If I had to pick, it would probably be something like a tower rush that we're not talking about, like, laming. But I don't mind playing against all sorts of strategies. Bob Jimmy says, wow, he fit his farms perfectly around the TC. I don't know how I did that. That was not intentional, necessarily. And we're up to the next stage. We're going to slowly suckers create. If I get that Eagle Warrior upgrade, which they did make cheaper. I do believe that Eagle Warriors in the pocket... I don't think the Incas are nearly as weak in the pocket as they once were. And I always felt like the Incas, you know, even though they're the butt of many jokes... They've always been a very, very bizarre, unorthodox civilization, but I never considered them to be very bad. I always thought that there were just weaker new civs. Whoa! Maybe Cool Man's the real threat. Is he going for a... A Shoto Warrior Rush, eh? Oh, man. Uh, let me know, by the way politely if my pronunciations of the units are incorrect and whatnot. Text 2. I'll get those right eventually. Uh, I, I, I fear that on some level, I don't know if the Shoto Warrior actually gets an attack bonus versus Eagle Warriors like the Long Swordsman and Men at Arms do, but if they do, this is a strict hard counter to the Eagles, so that's bad. Either way, he has a much better uh, combat stats than I do, so Eagle Warriors are definitely a great answer to things like archers and squares. Uh, Legoer asks, do you play any sports? No, my asthma allergy is so bad that, um, I had to get my competitive drive out in other ways. And, well, that's why I ended up getting very much involved in esports. Played lots of video games instead. Those are the asthma allergies. Okay, cool beans. So I got this. I have to be really careful. Ah, oh, cool man. I always continually poke at green in the meantime. I might not be able to move out. I, I got arson, which is a new tech that they added at the barracks, which gives my infantry... <laughs> okay, we're not attacking him. That's the other reason why I didn't want to go in there. There's almost always a method to my madness. Uh, it's because I saw him making men at arms, so I figured that uh, my reign of terror ends here. So, I might have to wait a second till I am uh, a little bit more buff. And once I'm swole, I'm moving out. Flash so says, play table tennis. Here is a common fact, is that most Asian people, when you're born, you are asked to... Well, Professor Oak asks if you're a boy or a girl, and then you have to pick a racket sport, and, uh, racket sport to play and an instrument to play. 
I ended up playing a lot of tennis as a kid, and I played the clarinet. So yes, fun fact, now you know, I was literally Squidward. Uh, Corbix says, yes, Shuttle Warriors have plus two attack versus buildings and eagles according to the wiki. Well, that sucks. That is like the worst possible thing. That's a hard counter. Might have to make slingers, which I don't need to make a castle first uh, to make anymore, which is fantastic. I love the balance changes that they did, and I am honored that I got a chance to give them my two cents and collaborate a little bit. And you mother... All right, bro. All right, brosif. Ah, oh, shit. I hate Shuttle Warriors so much. Triggered. I'm wondering where a couple points in my rating went. It's free as a... When I was running some test games with Scission, uh, I got I got Shota Warriored. Uh, he accidentally made the lobby rank, so... Whoops! Alright, alright. Wait, did I build a blacksmith? Shit, there's so much lag that I didn't get a chance to delete that, so I actually did lose a few resources. I need to make slingers. Well, I'm in there. To avoid that castle, though. This sucks so much. This sucks so much. This is this is a hard counter. No, everyone's gonna think Incas are bad. No! Oh, come on, man. Just finish that. It's the worst. <laughs> I need to make slingers. Alright. Everyone's gonna think Incas are bad. These things have the most disgusting combat stats. I can't click on them because they haven't fixed that bug yet where, like, selecting units is really really difficult to do, but uh, take my word for it. It's like 16 attack or something like that in the Castle Age is redonkulous. Yes. May I sling my way to victory? So I think I finally cleared out the menace. Whoa! Orin just trying to trade with me this early on in the game. I admire that. Uh, trading is actually... In oh, shit. Trading is incredibly inefficient until you get trade caravan at the market, which doubles your trade cart, trade cog speed. Now, I'm actually very glad that I'm the Incas here. Uh, I'm dealing with two players at the same time, which might make the Incas appear slightly weaker than they may be, but uh, I promise you that they are pretty cool now. They're a very strange sieve with weird bonuses such as you start with a free llama, but I like that. I like that. They play differently than a lot of the other mezzo sieves do, and I think that this sieve is fundamentally underrated. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, so... I think I've got Cool Man slowed down a little bit, and the Slingers will help me defend this, so that's good. I think I'm actually in a very demanding position. Somehow these these teams appear to have become just a just a smidgen imba. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. People's people's ratings are all over the place. And I tried. I always do. One of the things is that, and I'm open to people's feedback on this. Uh, I haven't had obviously that much time to do that much recording uh, during like the month of November and October so you know I, I basically just upload whatever matches that I get so if you're expecting the most epic match you've ever seen uh, there's no claimant in any of these unfortunately is my tracker sling there's only so much I can do a lot of the matches also go out of sync so hopefully you guys understand and can sympathize that I just want to keep the flow of content rolling while I'm busy doing uh, essay shenanigans. So if this goes out of sync, don't be surprised. Most of the matches go out of sync right now, unfortunately, but hopefully by the time you watch this, they'll have patched that. Uh, let's see. Sensei Kai asks, what map is this? This is the special map that they added in African Kingdoms called Far Out. Magman791 says, I joined the stream, saw your videos online on YouTube. What settings are you playing on? Uh, if you mean game settings, this is like 300 population. Uh, special map, far out, conquest, standard, most things is just standard. You now always pause it there if you want to see all that junk. I think I saw some formatting errors in there too. Could use this. So right now I'm just going to I'm gonna turtle up a little bit. It looks like Stoke. It's a little scary, but so is... Amro. Amro trying, of course, to not throw away his army for free. I think that's the right call. Notice how I'm prioritizing my eco upgrades. Obviously, I don't get to play perfect while I'm playing, but I still think there's a lot that you can learn from this. Unless you're, like, 2,000 rated on HD. 
I just feel like a kid in a candy store. I love playing with all the all the new sieves and whatnot. Once I reach critical mass, I look forward to moving out here and redeeming my honor after I got wrecked by Cool Man's Shoto Warriors. Although it appears that I've done way more damage in return to his economy, so that sounds fantastic. Building a castle right about now, and I should be able to throw down another town center. Ah, Jesus. Is this supposed to be my resources? I'm assuming it's not. Has oh, that villager always been there? Because that's, like, not okay. <laughs> I have to get to mining that stuff. Maybe I should just be building a gate over here. Of course. Ah, uh, who subbed? I can't see. It is Faust. Thank you so much for the resub, Faust. Much appreciated. It means a lot to me. Now, where am I under attack exactly? Ah, shit. I don't know whose videos uh, Amro's been watching, but uh, <laughs> been given too too much good advice. It sucks. Amro is playing exactly how he should by adapting to my unit choices quite nicely, making all the counters that he needs to school my army. In fact, I'll probably have to throw Eagle Warriors back into the equation. I, I was actually trying to stockpile some resources and go straight to the Imperial Age, actually, once my castle was finished, but I might actually have to sit here for just a while longer. Uh, good news is, though, is that Mito Tracker has arrived with his army. Can't click on it for some reason. I don't know why. And his army is just going to walk right by and die. That's uh, unfortunately a very small force. He may have wanted to wait until the rest of his teammates arrive for support. Actually, I might want that relic. I don't know the wood for it. Okay. Not bad. Sienna Sky says, do you prefer being the pocket or flank? Oh, definitely pocket. I'm a very defensive player, and I like to play to my strengths. But that being said, uh, there are you know, lots of videos where I do all sorts of different strategies, where I rush people and I do more aggressive builds. I just like to play to my strengths, and generally I consider myself to be more of a macro-oriented player. Why? Because, well, a lot of the games that I played, a lot of the matches of Age of Empires 2 that I played were with my friends throughout the years, and... You know, some of them were slower players, so you know, we would have like a no rush policy. So I got to practice moving for years before I got to move online. Uh, but I can I'm still definitely capable of rushing. I just don't find it as fun. What makes me interested in a game like Age of Empires 2 is this incredibly deep web of decision making. And you know, the access to the more units you have access to, the more decisions you can make, and the more interesting that is to me. That's why I like games like Prismata. Oh. Those houses. It looks like Stoke does not care about the real estate economy, but I do, so I have to back that up. Indian Sling is pretty good as well. Jeez. Uh, okay. Well, I also probably will want another Archer Range as well, so I will throw down one of those. Uh, Lana Liam says, any more Smeagol Warriors? Will do. Russian accent. Hello. He says, if you have a castle, you don't need other castle age buildings to advance to him. That is correct. In fact, my original plan was to just build this castle and then go straight up to the next age. But it didn't quite work out that way in practice. What actually happened was that I built the castle and then I saw that my opponents had a you know very large throbbing army in my base. So I decided to actually build a couple different buildings and you know hang out here for a little while longer. Originally, I was actually just going to go up to the next age with just that castle, but I decided against it. I think I'm going to chill for a little while. Okay. I'm just going to drop that bad boy off. Uh, I wonder if I have any idols. I do not. I should really get trade care of that. Tell him, but I have too many buttons to press. Fran says, hi guys, I feel lonely. I'm sorry to hear that, Fran, but you should feel lonely no more. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, P, for making him smile. Yeah, if you're looking for hugs, man, you are in the right place. We have one of the most wonderful, loving, friendly, and inclusive communities on Twitch. And I am so very happy to be part of it. At the end of the day, when I am done with all sorts of annoying stresses and all the work that I have to deal with, you know, all the annoying parts of life, I can. I know that on Friday, I always have something to look forward to, to unwind and play. My favorite game in the universe with my favorite people. That's why I stream. Alright, so we're up to the next stage. Which is perfect. Putting my castles in a way so it makes it a little harder for me to get raided by those 
Accursed Cool Man Shoto Warriors. Now, something I'm a little concerned about is what happened to his score. He was the leading player on his team, and he was actually doing some very good damage to me. However, uh, he appears to have fallen down a little bit. Perhaps that is due to a lack of villagers. Uh, gotta keep your villager production rolling while you're making military units. Always keep a town center working. Until you have 100 villagers. Uh, Flash says, what's your favorite food? Um, as disgusting as it is, maybe something like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, there are a lot of food. There are a lot of foods I like, fish and chips and whatnot. Miss Aimbot says, uh, "Resident Evil 2 is getting to the radio. Ever crossed your mind?" Yes. In fact, one, I reopened my YouTube channel after I was getting a sandwich at uh, one of my, one of the local sandwich places, and the old man at the register is like, "You have a very nice voice, Sonny. You should do something on the radio. I would love to listen to that." And it never really occurred to me before that, and I was like, "Oh." Cool, okay, sure, why not? So that's why I'm here, I guess. That's part of it. Small part of it. Considered it. Really, uh, if there's some sort of esports radio, I would love to do that. I'm gonna try and get couriers. This deck is amazing. It's also very adequately priced. Uh, Throttle says, 497 viewers need three more. Oh my god, Throttle. Thank you for pointing that out, as when I'm playing, I don't usually get a chance to watch that very closely. I hope you're all enjoying the stream and everything, and I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Don't be afraid to say hello. Like, if you're looking for a place to just make friends and hang out with cool people, you are in the right place. Look no further. So many awesome people here. So I need a lot of upgrades, and right now I feel like my economy is actually very weak. Oh, that castle's not going to get up in time. I will get housed here. My economy is uh, a little bit weak. You always want at least 100 villagers, so I'm going to try and get on that before it's too late. I think I still also have a hole at the front of my base near this market, which is probably not okay. So I will have to fix that. Uh, this is probably not the best wall either, because it leaves my market exposed, and this is a bad market to trade with. I used it as a makeshift wall off, and the fact that Orange insists on trading it, he might be in for a rude awakening if the market dies. It leaves my base very, very vulnerable. I can make Genitourers as the Incas, which is interesting considering that they're mounted. And I can do that because of the Berber's team bonus. Uh, however, I'm not going to do that because I don't get any upgrades for them. Uh, well, I get some of the upgrades, but no bloodlines and whatnot is bad. Magman says, how many more games are you going to play today? Probably two more after this. He asks, how do you decide who gets into the game? I do a drawing, and I'll explain it, and I'll have all the instructions on the screen every time I do that. So stick around, and I'll explain it to you. Just need to get my upgrades, build up a bit, move out soon. Unfit says an imp, they're at least better than the Mayans, but that's not saying a whole lot. I think the Incas are just unfortunately very underrated. The butt of many jokes. Uh, their Imperial Age isn't actually amazing, but the Incas have enough stuff at their disposal, and I think that's something that... I forget who posted this comment on Reddit, but someone pointed out was that, oh, by the way, the Incas have pretty good monks, and I'm glad that someone brought that up. I feel like that's a very important part of the Incas that is not, not mentioned enough, which is relevant for sure. What are these bad boys doing in the battlefield? My economy is still bad. Okay, so I'll need more unit production facilities now that I have the uh, resources to support that. So I'm going to go build this. Got that monk up in the front line. Uh, as soon as this treb is done, I'm actually going to move the line forward, even though I'm missing a lot of upgrades. But I don't want to pressure anybody without the siege weapons to really back it up. So there's an imp. Looks like we're still good to go on that front. It's on the first trade cart. If you have any suggestions, strategies, and things you want to see, let me know. I'm like Mr. Feedback. I care. Also, if you see me doing anything other than AoE2, as I do do that from time to time, keep in mind that it is just extra content, not a replacement for AoE2. You don't have to watch it if you don't enjoy it, but I really, really appreciate it. If you give it a shot, who knows? Just keep in mind, I'm not seeing another game. Okay, so that's a scary army. I do probably have to deal with that, yes. Ooh. So I'm going to move my guys in to intercept that. I think I already have couriers, so I should be good to go here. And now it's time to start... Oh, shit. I was going to say, now it's the time to start sieging, but I don't think he knows how much of a uh, military advantage he actually has. Maybe I do want to make genitures instead of... Oh, it sucks. Maybe I do want to be making uh, genitures instead of skirmishers, because there's, I guess, still better. 
one of my favorite units. So this guy says, what made you want to start streaming in the first place? That's a complicated question that might be difficult for me to answer adequately while I'm playing, but I'll try. Uh, basically, I started doing, like, YouTube stuff originally on my old channel, Illuminite, because I was really into competitive Age of Empires 2, and there were literally no resources on YouTube. This was a dark time before the handsome likes of, uh, you know, Barbecue Turkman, Mr. Danish, Zero Umpires, although Mr. Danish not active currently anymore. Uh, none of those guys existed back then. I think there's only, like, one AV2 video on YouTube, so I wanted to sort of fill that void, and I started making videos because, you know, for people like myself, I figured there were a lot of people who were trying to get into AV2, and they wanted a way to get started, so... I made my channel as a way to make, you know, competitive gaming a little bit more approachable, uh, for people in general. And fun. His army scares the shit out of me. I don't like this. I'm going to need a lot more slingers. I don't want to fight this right now because I have so little uh, military units. What happened to the walls that I built over here? I totally built those. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, in terms of streaming, I used to just stream miscellaneous stuff on my Twitch page and I ended up getting into it as a way to sort of interact with you guys and build a community. I'm a firm believer that viewer interaction is very, very important, and I never felt like the video medium was enough for me. I want to show people that um, I wanted to be different, right? Because something that always made me feel good is I wanted to sort of model my channel after the things that I really, really enjoyed in other people's channels. And one of the things that always made me really happy when I would watch stuff is... Uh, when I would get to talk and interact with the with the channel, so I felt like I should do something on Twitch uh, to build upon that idea, and that's why I'm here. Okay, so I can still make genitours. This is a little scary, to be honest. Wait, what happened to Cool Man? Wait, what? Wait, what? Sorry, I was busy talking about my 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 memoirs, I guess. It's really hard to talk and play at the same time. I don't know if you've done that. In an empty room. But I just imagine that all you guys are in the same room as me, so it's less awkward. What? When did that... How did Teal get eliminated again? How did a guy drop? Well, I can't restore because the restore function is currently broken, but that sucks. Again, I'm sorry if this disappoints you and it gets you salty, but... Trust me, man. This is the best I can do right now. So there's all sorts of connection issues and stuff. I try. And I hope you find it fun anyway. Okay, well, um... Ah, Malians. There is Dark Paladin who uh, compared the... Malian champion to a Huskarl. Which is certainly, certainly triggers me. Anything that involves the Goths, they come out of nowhere. They're the fun police. Get me in every single video. And unfortunately, I do not have a really favorable way of dealing with this outside of just massing slingers. So maybe I need even more military production buildings. I was heavily considering heavy scorpions, because I think that they would still be fine here. Um, do I have conscription? I do. I probably won't need Kameox, but... Um, this sucks. So to keep making this. Sorry if I'm missing some people's messages now, because now I'm under attack, so if you want me to answer your questions, you might have to wait until base less on fire. <laughs> Either that or buy me a fire extinguisher, please. Jeez. Okay, so military certainly not creating an adequate speed might need even more unit production facilities. Okay. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Now, this isn't the most efficient way to farm, but it's better to have farms than to just not have, and then to, like, take forever and put them all in the correct spot. Got this, uh, this Onager here so I can take out the Treb.
Indeed. I do appreciate that Zero Empires is hosting that. Always a pleasure working with him. I don't know if it's fair to attribute all of that to him, but it is certainly incredibly helpful. As I think last time I was getting around 400, 450, but I think there are a lot of people here as well who are coming from Zack's stream. So thank you so much, and welcome! After Zack, I am the second handsomest man in Age of Empires 2. <laughs> I really do appreciate that, though. It helps me out a lot. Can't wait until I get an opportunity to do more uh, more collab stuff. And that would probably be Meet the Summer. Yes, we've been averaging 450 recently. But welcome, new 50! If you're looking for love, you're in the right place. God, this game is hard. But I'm How long is Cool Man DC? Because I swear his score is like really low for the entire game, and then eventually he just his internet exploded, I guess. I don't know. Hello, new people! Uh, he was says, I mean, I don't play League, but he shouldn't do that? I wasn't planning on doing League anyway, but uh, I guess I missed out on the first part of that. Oh my god, you know what I could be doing right about now? Oh, you asshole. Um, I could be making lots of keeps and stuff. I'll need that tag. This sucks. I'm trying to build a mill. There we go. Okay. Losing a lot of ground rapidly, and that's because I don't have enough siege to deal with his siege. Hopefully, though, I'll be able to snag some keeps and stuff. Some point. Maybe. So weird seeing anything that's mounted coming from a Mesoamerican suit. Very bizarre. Jesus. I'm trying to keep my resources low, but maybe too, too low. Maybe you will. Astro Boy says, uh, what did you say? Get sappers and run your bills to murderers' buildings. <laughs> Maybe. Waste nothing, right? Sappers is too expensive, though. Ah, I'm not losing a 4v3. Uh, although I have to say they are putting up a substantial fight. It's more like a 3v3 sort of ish. They are putting up. Uh, they are putting up a huge fight. I'm not losing, but I'm not winning at all. <laughs> Which is just as bad. Maybe not just as bad, but it's it's bad. These guys came to play. But uh just wait till I get the arrow slits. Alright, not bad. Okay, crap. The good news is, I have arson, so we'll be able to tear through this. Ready Teddy said he resigned shortly before you realized it, like three minutes, everybody was Imperial. Whoa! Don't know why. That's unfortunate, though, because that means that this game would have been incredibly close if he was here. Uh, considering how much of a fight they're putting up, I, I attribute a lot of that to just smart decision-making, so I'm very proud of the enemy team. Does my heart good to see Amro, like, dancing around me, doing advanced calculus in his head, trying to figure out what units to make to to put me down, and uh, he, did a, he did a great job. I think OBS changed my mic settings slightly, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad this time, but I, I always adjust it. I don't know, as you saw. Basically, like, I don't have a betting system because I want people to always be talking about the game or just life. Life is fine, too, to talk about, by the way. If you have any questions or things you want to hear my input on your college schedule or something, I would be happy to talk to you about that. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted the chat to be full of uh, that kind of stuff. Not to say that having a Florin system is bad at all. Uh, it's something I've considered a lot. But I just never really never really implemented that type of thing. I mean, I'm open to ideas. Maybe it's something that I, I should be doing. I'm a man of very few strong opinions, which makes me a terrible poli sci major. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I tell people that, they're like, wait a minute, Resonance, you, you have no strong feelings one way or another? Why, the, why are you a poli sci major? That's so stupid. <laughs> Can't argue with that, right? 
Uh, remind Souter to keep making villagers. Oh! Sorry, I, I, Saufer. I, sorry, I really haven't been paying attention to his side at all. I didn't mean to be mean when I said it was sort of a 3v5. Uh, that's, that's not a, that's not a subtle jab at all. No, 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 no. I just mean that, like, there weren't as many players on this side with military units. But, no, Saufer is certainly contributing positively. Uh, but, I, yeah, I'll, I'll tell him. I just didn't want to move away from the battlefield for a second. Saufer, uh... Don't forget to keep making more villagers. Also, blacksmith upgrades. You are doing great, though. Oh! God, now they're gonna resign. Oh, GG well played. That's what I feared, just the moment, you know, I'm like, oh, by the way, don't forget to do X or Y, and then the enemy team is like, GG well played, and then now he doesn't get a chance to do X or Y. Life is hard. Well, might as well go mine gold over here. Uh, Far Out's actually a pretty good map. I thank you as well for the suggestion, Zach. Uh, I like this map a lot. See a pile of idols? Me too. But again, he's new. Like, I, nothing against him at all. We all have to start somewhere, and the idea here is that we accept players of all shapes, sizes, and creeds. This is a great way to start out, get involved, and even if I'm not here to play with or against you, there are, like, so many people in the chat who are wonderful people, too, and handsome, who would love to play with you and show you the ropes. That's why I never understood when people, like, flame new players for, like, not doing something. I never understood that. To me, that's just fundamentally not okay. You know, like, you'll be doing a dungeon in, I don't know... World of Warcraft or Guild Wars or something like that, and the guys are like, WHY ARE YOU NOT DOING THIS? And then... You know, the obvious response is, I, I, I didn't know. No one ever told me. It's like this perpetual cycle of yelling where everybody on the internet expects you to be perfect, and then when you're not, uh, they yell at you for it. I'm here to break that cycle. Hopefully. I don't have a, like a strong siege line with me, so it'll actually take approximately a million years to break that. Yeah. Stupid new players, why don't they start as good as the Viper? When I was when I was a fetus, I was 3,000 rating. Did you see my APM? I come straight out of the womb, and I'm already tearing up the ladder. Well, that's a lot of elite long wounds, scary. It happens in almost all games. Indeed, Ice Age. That, that was, like, one of the hardest things, like, when I try new games. Like, I... Again, that's also why I do my, my channel, is because, uh... It sucks being new. It just... It is brutal. When everybody is yelling at you for sucking, and you're just like, I want to learn. Well, you're in the right place. And I think Selfer is doing well. The, the difference is here between Selfer and Mr. Orange uh, is that Selfer is doing this classic new player thing. And if you watch this later, my friend, there are like a couple tiny things that you can do to transition from being the sexiest Age of Empires 2 player on the ladder to a literal god. This, these small tips. Two quick, easy tricks. Doctors hate him. Check this out. You don't need to wait until you have a uh, max population to attack. Just do it. Like, when you're playing Age of Empires 2, imagine Shia LaBeouf is just yelling at you, telling you to make more villagers and to attack. Abraham Lincoln, I believe, said... Uh, in his uh, Emancipation Proclamation, attack an enemy now. And I think it's important that you remember that when you were choosing your strategy. You don't actually have to wait until you have max fully upgraded army and everything. I think that's... I think we all did that when we were new. You know, you wait until your army is absolutely perfect. You must have all upgrades, everything. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, you can actually do a lot of damage with a small group of units, and there's a fine line between sending all your units in to die for no reason whatsoever, or just, you know, just using them, right? So there's a fine line, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, Legor says, do you ever play private matches? Yes, whenever I have the time, I love to. Ready Teddy says, Green asked how you sent messages to everyone. Did you take a minute to explain that? Yes. Um... Amro, if you're listening, uh, what you do to send a message to all, although I guess you can't see it on the screen because I don't know if the black thing gets captured by OBS. You, you put an asterisk, so like shift eight, in front of your message to send it to all, but you could also use this window. See? This sends to everybody, allies, enemies. Thank you so much. Is it Pew Snuggles? Pew Snuggles for the sub. Much appreciated. 
If anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, the best place to do that, though, is, is, is via the live stream. Uh, yeah. I just don't want to, I don't want to bug them all game, because, like, I don't know... This is another thing, is that some people as well... This is a, a healthy balance. Uh, so let me know if you don't want advice while I play with you. Because I understand that. Some people just want to play, and they don't really care about the advice or anything. Thank you, Tim K. Glad you're enjoying the humor. Uh, some people, like, just want to play. You know? Uh, and they don't want to be told all the things they could do better. Uh, that's fine, too. So I don't want to, like, bug him about it. But if he wants some tips and tricks thrown his way... Oh, great! If you want to get in... Get in on the action. Send your army soon. Before they surrender. Also, if you are ever helping someone out, don't be a dick about it. Uh, and I also don't mean, like, be super sarcastic either, but, like, smiley faces go a long way. People will be more inclined and responsive to your advice uh, if you don't phrase it as an order, uh, if you phrase it as a suggestion, uh, and you're, you're nice about it. Yeah. TLDR, be a good guy. <laughs> Magman says he's eating Thanksgiving leftovers today. What are you eating, Mr. Magman? Tamaru, no, he says that chat tip is very helpful. Thank you. Just finished playing Age of Empires 1's campaigns. How do you feel about it? I have actually not played the AOE 1 campaigns. I actually know nothing about them. If you'd like to tell me more, I am interested. Maybe someday I'll try them? I don't know. The only time I would ask someone to use their army is basically because I don't want them to feel left out. There's no worse feeling than when you've, like, reached critical mass, you've hit your endgame fantasy, and yet you have, like, zero units killed because the enemy team just resigns. <laughs> That's why when I'm, like, playing, uh, you know, like, bot games with, uh, with some viewers and whatnot outside of the stream, I, I try to wait to end the game until everybody gets to see a bit of action. Everyone wants to kill some units, right? Corvix says, I like the Byzantines because I can make that sexy meatball of doom. You and me too, my friend. Watch this. Hey, Rez. Apparently, Shader made a very generous second donation today. Whoa! Okay, I will check that. Thank you, Flash, for letting me know. Lucky Chase says, Rez22, how do you come as good as you? Well, thank you, man. It's very flattering. Again, you're in the right place. If you have any specific questions, I'd be happy to answer them. There, one of my tutorials that I did... Oh, yeah, he's coming in. Also, you want the defense upgrades on your melee units first, but... Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, so, one of my tutorial videos, which is, uh, I believe it's, like, strategy selection, economy management, and whatnot. That one is the 1v1 Black Forest. You can find it in my AOE2 tutorials playlist. I think that one is really, really useful. Also, the Becoming a Better Player tutorial I like a lot. You'll have to get used to my older microphone, though, but I think those videos are all incredibly helpful. Uh, by the way, if you're floating this much money, you can actually just get coinage and banking and stuff and just send it to your team. Put that money to good use, right? Send it to the people on your team who may or may not be pop-capped. Assuming you're pop-capped. Uh, the most important advice I can give to you, though, is to just make sure that your town sent... And this goes a long way. You can get everything else wrong, and this will make the most impact. Obviously, you want to try and get as much right as you can, but... Um, if you're new, just make sure that your town center is always working, creating villagers, doing something, you know? Uh, you want to make sure that you have at least 100 villagers in, like, every game, if you can. Um, by the end of the game, you want to be having 100 villagers. It makes a colossal difference. Basically about half the max population of a given game, and the pop settings may vary. Oh, sh shucks. That sucks. Yeah. Also, build, don't be afraid to build unit counters and build multiple types of units. Uh, the thing to keep in mind is that building only one type of unit is just so easy to counter, and better players will be able to really take advantage of that. So, By building multiple types of units, you're in the clear. Xavier Tankus says, so if there was a global tournament but a galactic one, what would be your in-game name? Probably the same. Thank you, Lucky J. The same bot says, being new and masking your army is like wearing new shoes outside. You really don't want to use them because you might step in shit. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Oh, that sucks. Sucks. Hey, like Onagers. That's why I'm building this. You see that forward watchtower in an hour in? Uh-oh. Out of sync, boys. GG, well played. 
Every game. Temp screen. Who saw that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh, Psyduck. Always guys in trouble. Not kidding, of course. No, it's no problem. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. You understand that uh, almost every game goes out of sync. So if you ask me to upload one that doesn't go out of sync, then uh, I can't do that. <laughs> they all go out of sync. Hopefully they fix that soon. Zadie says, have you thought about playing the Legacy of the Void campaign? I've heavily considered it. I might do that in mid-December. Or even the new co-op part. I might do that, Zadies. Uh, depends if people don't mind that I am not the best StarCraft II player. So let me know if you want to see that it's something I've heavily considered. Yeah, almost everybody plays 200 population online, if not more. <laughs> Jazz P says, and then Microsoft re-released the game on Steam, except way worse than the original game on Voobly. That may be true. However, we've got new content, new units. And this, that's why I play it. Xavier Tanga says, what is the 22 in your name? Just like a number. I wanted something that was easy to memorize, and 22 is the first thing that was easy to memorize that League of Legends took when I was signing up for my account. Tayamara says, well, there's a couple major differences, but overall I recommend you play it if you ever feel like it. Okay, it's great, and there's an unofficial patch that gives you higher resolution and some minor balance fixes. Sounds good to me. Condor says, definitely saw that. Yeah, dude, that temp screen. Always out of sync. Flash says, I know you're busy, but this donation was exceedingly generous, and I'm sure it means a lot to you. Okay, okay, I'll definitely check it out. In fact, I'll check it out right now. Give me a second. Let me open it up. Made dude says we were winning. Indeed. That is very, very unfortunate. Let's see. Scrolling through my email. Uh, I have to remember which donations I said thank you for today so that I don't repeat myself. One moment, please. Zinoblito says, I'd love to see you play StarCraft 2. I thought about getting into that for a while. Yeah, I would be tailoring it for people who are, like, not... I guess like they're they're new to StarCraft 2. Again, it would be intended for the people who just want to get into it and you want to see what it's about. It'd be mostly for a fun thing, since I'm no expert. Cinnablito, let's see. Okay, I just answered that. Throttle says, do you think the name of the Inca's unique technology should be changed from Couriers to something else? Maybe, maybe Couriers just wear a lot of armor. <laughs> Triton Jack says, what do you think of AOE3? Dude, I'm not going to shoot you for that. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. You can ask me anything, Triton. Anything. Um, I think AOE 3 is a really cool game. Uh, it doesn't really feel like an Age of Empires game to me, but I like it as an RTS game. I think it is a beautiful soundtrack. I love it. I think it's fun, but it doesn't really feel like an AOE game. I like it, though. Uh, let's see. The donation is, is from Shatter? Did it appear on the screen? Okay, I think it's this one. He says... Hey, Rez, just wanted to tell you that you're... <laughs> hey, Rez, just wanted to tell you that you're under attack and the usual stuff. Thanks for the content and commentary. Keep it up and don't listen to those critics. Well, I, I still value the criticism. Uh, there's a difference between unreasonable and helpful, constructive play criticism. But that being said, you know, it probably gets to me way too much. And thank you so much, Shader, for your donation. I really appreciate it. That's incredibly generous of you. And thank you, Flatch, as well, for reminding me to go check that one. Thank you, dude. That means a lot to me. Lupot says, great job responding to chat today. Thank you. I've been trying extra hard for that. Extra hard. Good night, Ryan Pax. Lady X says, what's it would you like to see in future AV2 expansions? I think we got them all, but I don't know. Teal had to go. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Out of sync is a Civ bonus. Maybe Corvick. Uh, Jespy said, yeah, I said with new features. Oh, yeah. But it's a shame that Microsoft didn't work with the user patch, Woobly devs. Oh, I agree. Nabuwa says, have you ever tried Company of Heroes? I have not, but I'm interested in maybe trying it. And Extra Bull says, thanks for the tips. Love you. Dude, no problem. I had a blast playing with you, and I hope you had fun. Last year's Shader made two donations. Did I get both of them? I think I did, right? I think I did. That was the last one. Oh, it's okay, Dark Paladin. Just know that I am, like, busier than you could possibly imagine. But I appreciate it. That's weird. Someone else says no donations or subs are showing up in a stream or in game. Well, I'll have to try and I'll, I'll fix that real quickly. And it was 150. Thank you so much, Shader. Versus, I just want to let you know that your Windrunner build is awful and that you need to feel bad. Oh, I know it's bad. There's so many new items, a whole new world. But man, 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 have you built those items? Do you really know it's bad or do you just think it's bad? <laughs> Maybe I'm onto something. Maybe. 
haven't played Rise of Nations. I'd like to try it at some point. Anyway, good night, Amro. Uh, so that's the end of this match, and I'm going to go do a new one in a minute, so don't go anywhere. It's a very exceptionally long outro, but uh, yeah, let me know if you stuck around for the end. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed watching this. I do read all the comments, even though I don't get a chance to respond to each of them, and I even go through the VOD later to check all the Twitch messages I missed too in the chat, so I'm crazy about that. If you, if you, uh, if you mention me anywhere in a comment... Good or bad, somewhere, even not on my own videos, chances are I read it, and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much to the people who take the time to leave me a nice comment, a thumbs up, and for the people who mention me other places as well. I, I thank you for those of you who answer those questions for me on my behalf. Uh, Redback says, what do different lag icons mean? Uh, the turtle means that you're like a frame rate lag, and the little comet icons, it's supposed to be a comet, I think, means that you have high ping, so internet lag. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and answer questions uh, all day, but I will start doing that again when I get back from the break. So if I didn't answer your question and you just posted it, then I will answer it soon, so ask it again. But I'm going to cut it here, use the bathroom, and then we're going to start a drawing for the next game of the streams. So don't go anywhere. Thank you so much for your support. Plenty more AOE stuff on YouTube, so make sure you give that a look. And I do stream on Twitch regularly. Love to have you. Your support means a lot to me. I look forward to bringing you guys a little bit more stuff in December. And I will be right back with the next match of AV2. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, okay? <laughs>